Okay, hello there everyone, firstly, this is my first, and yeah, I'm not really sure on my channel before, I always forget to upload the actual match day vlogs, or I'm all forget to record them. Anyway, I'll try and remember, like I say every video, like that'll ever happen. <laughs> but yeah, I've got this new tripod and it's like a selfie stick as well. There's a button where I can stop and start recording. Well, it's on this little remote, which I'm trying to figure out how to use. So, yeah, that's happened. And, yeah, it's like a little selfie stick, but I've got it as a tripod right now. If you look at that bit, look. That's like the little tripod bit. And I've got it as a tripod for my mid-season review. I'd say we're about halfway through this. It's just after Magic Weekend. Ugh. One of our worst performances all year, that. Not the greatest performance. Got to be that one. Hopefully we'll do Salford in the Cup, though. This week we'll best Catalan in Catalan. Sadly can't be that one, so don't be expecting a match review. <laughs> I never get to Catalan. I'm going to get there one day. I don't know if I'm going to remember to vlog it. <laughs> Either way, though. But yeah, it should be really good when I do eventually get there. But yeah, we're versing Catalan this week. Don't know the strength of the squad, so I can't really give you a match review sort of thing. But I can give you is, well, necessarily my personal review of each game. So I'm going to pull up on my telly that is just around there. Got a big telly there. But yeah, I'm going to pull up... Uh, round one to so the current round and rate the games like out of one to ten so let me just get the telly all set up for this and yeah let's get right into it so round one was Hulkia versus Wigan Warriors a really good win in that one and couldn't have asked for a better start to the season I'm gonna rate that one a solid nine out of ten that's because there's only one ten in this one and the round two video is that 10. Hull Kingston Rovers versus the Salford Red Devils at Salford's place. Yeah, Joe Bell Stadium. That, after beating Salford that day, that took Rovers to the top of the league, which was amazing to feel. It was on the 24 hours, though. Make it a longer stint next time there, Rovers. And then round three was our first loss of the 2023 season. And it came against the Lee Leopards. And thank you, Lee, for beating a lot of teams since then. It makes it look less embarrassing on us. I'm going to rate that one a four. It, it messed with the emotions a bit. In round four, we versed Warrington. And at the end of that game, Paul Vaughan had come out of the stadium. Got on the team bus for Warrington. They got Paul Vaughan to come off the team bus to escort the ref out the game. Now, I think that's the ref knowing that he had a poor game and he keeps on doing giving us bad games and never does well for us. Don't know whether that shouldn't be been biased because I'm a Rovers fan or not. But I do think he was a bit biased in that one. And he also screwed us up a little bit against Wigan. He is from Wigan, so that's a bit unfair. And then with that, but yeah, that one ended 18-10, if I remember correctly. So quite a tight game. Obviously not ideal to lose. And then the next one's the third one we lost on the bounce as well, which really isn't good for us. But since then, we've picked up form. So round five, we lost to Catalan Dragons. And the whole Kingston Rovers players said themselves that that's the only game where they felt truly battered in was the Warrington Catalan game. Well that's fair enough. If you I'm gonna wait I didn't wait I didn't rate the last one. I'm gonna rate the last one five. Cause I feel like we'll put up a really good fight again. It's just 14 on Warrington. <laughs> this one I'm gonna rate it was a loss to Catalan. I'm gonna say a three. Never like to see us lose, never nice, to, you know, get battered, but there's always, grass is always greener on the other side. Sometimes it's nice to lose, not in my opinion, but you know, 
and we've got back to winning ways against Wakefield Trinity, who are still without a win this season. Come on, Waker, you've got this. You can either beat Leeds or lose for one more week after that. Because that work is next week just lead than us. So that's not good. But yeah, we beat Wakey 36-6 that day, I think it was. Tom Opachik scored his first Super League try for us. Mikey Lewis had a brilliant game that day. I was there and it was quite a cold day. But it, I like going to Wakey. Not because we usually win because I did go last season and we lost. But more just because I like going there. It's a nice little stadium. And then we beat Leeds Rhinos 20-8. Jordan Abdul killed Leeds in that game. Beautifully done by Jordan in that game. And I think it should be decent to have Jordan back hopefully this week. Then in Rivals round, we all know who we versed. The black and whites from over the far side of the city. Hull FC. And as we all know, we won 40-0. Which is completely and utterly brilliant. A huge derby went on Rivals round, Rivals round. It was a good result for Rovers, terrible for all FC, obviously, but yeah, no one predicted 40 nil. Like to not even get your team up for a derby. But then, to be fair to all FC, they have picked up form in the last couple of weeks. Well, about last month, they started to pick up a little bit again. Because FC started like this. Ooh. Yeah, and they're still probably a bit down there still. Then we beat St. Helens for the first time since 2017, I think it was. Which is amazing. Hopefully we can keep it up. After round 9 and then in round 10, I think, yep, we beat the Castleford Tigers. That was like a 12-7 win. Really gritty and not really good well i forgot to write the last three so i'm gonna write them a six a seven and a seven and then after beating castleford there was the england break and we came back and won 28 nil against the huddersfield giants now that was a very good game for us as a team and the week after i think we did get, get on to lose yeah we lost to warrington i didn't see that game at all i've not seen any footage of it or anything so i'm probably gonna watch that like after this video or something hopefully we can do better next time 12 days ago we lost to wigan after a last minute from a bass miski oh ryan all shooting out one Corey had a poor game and that brings us to Magic Weekend. Boo. Went one of Magic in two years, so it's like, yeah, nah. We lost to the Salford Red Devils, so fair play to Salford. Salford deserved it. They outplayed us, and fair play to them. Just, they just was the better team. And the better team won, so it was just meh. And there was a couple of wrong decisions either way. I thought Dean Hadley would have gotten a car, gotten a red card and potentially a ban. I personally think Dion Cross deserved worse than a fine as well for what he did to Lachlan Coote. And then Briar was a bit of an idiot. Mikey gave him a little tap on the head, literally just like that. Briarly, I don't know what he was thinking. He thought he was a footballer. He just dived to the ground. Oh, I'm so injured. I'm so injured. In the way, though, it worked. <laughs> That's one way to trick Chris Kendall. Oh, there's my doggy. My little hero. Say hi, hero. There's my little baby. You're a good boy, aren't you? But yeah, that's hero, my doggy. I've got a couple others through there somewhere, just through there. But yeah, I'm just making this in a way to like, you know, use my new vlog sort of thing so I can use it. And I've got this to help me make videos like this. I'm more talking to the camera and not like looking at the screen of my computer using a little script thing. 
I always write in before videos and it takes like 10 minutes. Yet the video lasts about two minutes. Be <laughs> like, and then da 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 da. That's how it works. It's really not fun doing that. Spend 20 minutes trying to write the right script, you know, get every word spelling right, even though you guys don't even see it. So tomorrow I will be uploading this. Well, I'll be uploading this today, but then tomorrow I'll be uploading the 21 man squad review and the squad I would make out of it personally. Which, as a whole, I've got a lot of good players in mind who could play in, some good ones who could miss out. Off the back of the Magic Week, and we have lost three players in Lachlan Coote. Jesus, I need to learn how to talk. Suasa Sue. And I'm trying to think who the other one is. Um, I'll get back to. Oh, yeah, James Batchelor. He went off on a stretcher. Not good for Batch. I think he's okay now. From what I've heard in the recent updates. But you know, you can never be too certain. Like I've just hope he's in a good condition. And Batch, if you're watching this, comment below if you're okay. Cause I think all the fans were a bit worried about you and the length of time you was down for. So speedy recovery to Batch. And speedy recovery to Jesse and Lachlan for their little injuries as well. I'll have to see you back out on the field soon. But remember, players, health comes first. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! Gosh.